Merry Christmas. Good morning. From Tenerife. It's very hot. It's 23 degrees here pretty much every day. Full sun. Not a cloud in the sky. It is beautiful. It is nice. You know, this is somewhere I never ever thought I would come. Uh, when I think of Tenerife, I think Benidorm, I think uh, Mallorca, Magaluf, Zante, party places. Not really my sort of scene. As, as you know, if you watch the channel often enough, you'll know I don't drink. Uh, I try not to anyway. It's not like I'm religiously don't drink, but I'd rather not. And when I think of this place, I just think, you know, it's more of like a party place. Everyone's just getting pissed up. A lot of English tourists, in fact, so many that I don't even know if there are any other here. I, I, all I've heard so far is English or a few Spanish people. Um, in this part of the island, this is uh, Los Americanos or El Americanos or something. I'm not 100% sure. I'm basically just following my mate who's the, the Tenerife god. He comes here every year. He knows all about it. It's busy. It is busy. It's Christmas Day. And it's busy. Look, check out the beach. It's busy. And it's beautiful weather. Perfect. Why would you want to sit at home in the freezing cold when you can come here and enjoy this? Christmas day, a black pool on sea. Ah, they're up there. And you want to see why there are so many English people here? Look at that. Shine proof. One euro fifty each. 150 a pint. How much are they at home these days? Six quid? Six quid. Six pounds. Here, what is it? One pound 30? Some of you might be wondering, where's Nat in the background? Shouting random stuff all the time and annoying me. Mugging me off. She's at home. Long story short, good friend of mine had his place flooded earlier on this year and he's been in a temporary accommodation since then. His family are all going away for Christmas and he's going to be in a hotel on his own. Another guy at work actually suggested going to Tenerife for Christmas, asked him if he wants to go and he wouldn't come on his own so I said I'll go with him so he's not in a hotel room on his own at Christmas. Right now I'm at Los Cristianos which is in the southwest corner of the island. That's really the place to be, the party place, the touristy place. Our accommodation is not here though. Our accommodation is the other side of the island. We're actually staying in a place called Los Re Los Relajos. Los Relajos. Relejos. Los Relejos. I'll show you that now. Look how mountainous it is here. Listen to the birds. How different it is here to back down in the beach. Peace. Anyway, I'm gonna show you this. I'll show you this accommodation. It's pretty special. It's an old, very old Spanish rustic style house. Look, look at this. Check it out. You've got an outside seating area here. We've got a hot tub. 
You've got three bedrooms. You've got a kitchen. You've got a massive bath. Shower in it as well with a shower head. And my favorite part about this place is this. Get a load of that. Near the birds, I can see the sea. And when the sun comes up, very shortly, we're gonna be looking at 23 degrees today. I can see why people do a little sunny getaway through the Christmas period. You get a bit of time off work. What better excuse is there than to come somewhere nice and warm away from the harsh wintry conditions of the UK, which is actually about 13 degrees right now, so it's not even that bad. Now it is Christmas day today, and what would make this morning perfect would be if I could just sit here with a coffee. I don't think I'm gonna find something that's open. We tried finding somewhere with uh, food yesterday. We got the car from the airport, tried to find some food, impossible, everywhere was closed. Drove around for ages trying to find food. Then we had to find our accommodation. Sat nav in the car, wasn't up to the job. Kept telling me to go up one way streets the wrong way. Absolute hunt. Reminded me of Bear Grylls. That you'll get dropped into an island. Got to find food and shelter. It was a bit like that. Well, Christmas day in Tenerife, what do you do? Probably go to the beach. Let's go. It reminds me of the TV show, Benadol. Yeah. Proper. They've got Christmas music going on, look. I don't think I'm going to get copyrighted for that. It's up there, dancing away. It's alright in there, it's a nice little vibe. I like that. I want to go in the Benadol Motel. Oh, look at this. We can rent our bikes. 30 euros a day for a push bike. We didn't pay much more than that for the car. Especially when you consider you've got to get one each. What the fuck? It's busy. It's extremely busy. We're looking for a roast dinner. Or maybe a pie. A pie might do. A pie is close enough to a roast dinner and I think it would be nice. I've looked online. Cheated. I had to. There's so much choice here. I don't want to end up with a shit one. Uh, just got to go find it. It's about a 28 minute walk around the coast. Los Cristianos. It's quite nice to, it's quite a nice way to see the place as well. Nice round here. Yeah, very much. Mongolian barbecue. Sounds interesting. Not very open yet though. The place where I found is just over here. That is a long walk. It's come all the way up that hill. Should be just up here. Well, the, the place, the place I wanted to go to is this. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. That's it, mate. Right, go in. Yeah, yeah. It's not even open. Sean, sure. okay, there's a free course Indian yeah, there for 15 there. euros. Indian? Yeah. We can take that out of our hands. 
How's that an Indian? Is that all right or not? Look, you eat an Indian? I knew this uh, was going to happen. <laughs> I'll we'll walk back down the front and I'll have a Look. free course every day. Uh, eat Indian or not? What, what, what about the Italian there? Italian, but anyway. Oh, you can go in there. That's no. all right. I'll go in the Italian. Oh. Well, that was a flop. Went open. Go back to the car. Don't really know what to do now. Bit of a flop. Now I'm walking through the estate. Some estate. A bit more inland. I'm not near the beach here. There's not really any tourists here. Oh, it's pretty built up. A lot of flats. Oh. Some food, really. Asian fusion. Asians are saving the day. Prices look good. Service looks good. The atmosphere through there, like the environment through there, looks good as well. We just got to wait for them to clean up, and we're going to go in there and have some uh, have some food. Now the menu in here is massive. So I'm not going to show you all of it, but I'll give you a little idea of what sort of prices are in here. It's actually pretty reasonable. The, the place I was looking at earlier, that Italian place, is 39 euros for a meal. A pizza with some garlic bread. In here, you can get like, per dish is like 8 euros. Told you it was nice in here. Look at this, mate. All right, let me see what the, uh, let me see what I want. On closer inspection, I realized it's not a massive menu, but it's still a good menu. I've gone for the Kung Pao chicken. I know, I'm having a beer. We've had a very stressful afternoon and it's needed. It's the only one though. Kung Pao chicken. I've not had it before. Mm. When do you think about wedding anniversaries? <coughs> it's a bit spicy. I probably should have got a red Thai red curry. I think that looks a lot better. I think a Thai red curry is better than this. Kung Pao chicken. Give it a go, it's a bit spicy. Kung Pao chicken is chicken with Onions, peanuts, I think they're peanuts. Celery, spices. It's, it's, a, it's a weird flavor. It's not like the, um, it's not, not as flavorful as like a red curry, green curry. But still, how much is this? This was like 11 euros. Not bad at all. Very pleasant. Well, the Asian saved our Christmas. That was good in there. A bill for three people, 46 euros. The Italian place was going to charge me 39 euros for one person. Ridiculous. I can't believe it. I was like, what? There's not, even, there's not even anyone in here. It's not even like a classy establishment. Oh, yeah, look. It's a bloody reindeer, mate. Not me, Rudolph. How unfortunate is that? <laughs> right before I come away, I scratch my nose. And I've had so many Rudolph jokes. Yeah, the Asians saved our Christmas, man. Went to a couple of places, they were full, everywhere was full. We go, I found this one place a little bit out of the way, I thought, might be nice there, they have real good reviews, really good roast dinners. I thought we'll go there, walked all the way there, half an hour walk, closed. And then uh, the place next door, 40 euros for one person. For a, for a main and a side it is, it's a set meal main and a side, in an Italian, was a pizza and some garlic bread. For 40 euros, take my piss. So I didn't do that. Tried the Indian next door, they were rude. So they, so they didn't want it. Uh, the Asians saved the day. Check out this sunset. But yeah, I feel a lot better after I've eaten. Again, if you've been watching the channel, you'll know my, my day revolves around my food. If I don't eat, I start getting a little bit cranky. And it's not good for anyone, is it? Oh. It's been a bit of a weird day today. It's my first Christmas away from everyone. Um, 
I'll be honest, it's been a weird day. Not really a lot going on, and it's like a lot of drinking, which is obviously what you would do here, but for somebody who doesn't drink, it's a weird vibe. It's a bit weird, because everyone's getting pissed during the day. And uh, yeah, nothing to complain about though. It's all good. It was uh, The beach was a lot more busy than I thought it was gonna be. And for that reason, I didn't go and get a sun lounge or anything. We got there a little late as well, so we missed all of that. Yeah, just spent a day laying in the sun really, and uh, yeah, weird, weird Christmas, weird. Pro probably won't do it again, I'll be honest. I probably won't do this again. <clears throat> uh, I think Christmas is a time for family and, you know, being cozy in the, in the cold. Coming somewhere warm is not personally for me. Obviously it is for a lot of other people. It's very, very popular, there's a lot of people. And a lot of people do come here with their families. You know, look how steep the roads are. You ain't gonna be able to see that. Some of the roads are mental, honestly. I'll, I'll get some clips of the roads. Not tonight, because it's dark. But uh, I think a cold Christmas is, that's what it's all about, isn't it? I, th I actually personally think the whole Christmas thing is to stop people killing themselves in the middle of a boring winter. It's the only exciting thing that happens in winter. Right, got a half hour walk back to the car now. One hour drive, back through the mountains, back to our accommodation. And then, tomorrow. Maybe I'll have a little exploration around the northern area tomorrow. I'll see how I feel. Right, I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. There is one thing in this place that I really don't like, and that's the water pressure in the shower. It is awful. So I'm washing out of a pot. That's one water in there, and I'm pretty sure that's the only way I'm gonna get enough to have an actual wash. I'll show you the uh, water pressure. When I first walked in here, I thought this bath is massive. Look how sick this is. Look at this. That's hot, right? That's the hot tap. Absolute dribble. And I assure you, that is it at its best. It goes lower and higher and lower and higher as you're using it. It's terrible. So I'm gonna use the pot. I'm thinking if I use the pot, I'll use the water with the pot to supplement the water coming from that. And then when that does get cold, when the water pressure drops in the hot, I'll use more of this to balance it out. Hopefully I can get washed in a reasonable amount of time because it is freezing as well. This time of year at night, it is cold. <sighs> so when you get out, it is painful. It's like being back in Iceland when in the outdoor bloody hot springs. <sighs> right. Let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> 